Hello again. Uh, I wanted to do another uh, video, something hopefully that won't take long. Uh, I wanted to talk about my favorite YouTube personalities, uh, mainly, you know, pertaining to video games and technology. Just my favorite ones here on YouTube that I've been watching a long time. Um, let's see. I mentioned Rich of Review Tech USA. I love his stuff. Uh, for the most part, a lot of his stuff. Uh, every now and then I go, hmm. But it's few and far between. But for the most part, I, I love watching his, his, his videos and what he has to say. Uh, um, so there is him. Uh, I also like the Happy Console Gamer, even though sometimes I kind of poke fun at him because he says mean a lot. Mean. I think he's from Canada. I just I keep expecting him to 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 break out into Shakespeare every time he, he says B. I keep thinking that the words that follow are gonna be thou art thou such and such and I don't know why it's like that, but it's you know, Canadians, you know, they some words are pronounced it's a little differently. Uh, but I like I like his. His his videos are kinda of few and far between. They're not many. Uh, they, they happen randomly, out of the blue, <laughs> just not too often. Uh, but I do enjoy watching him. I like when him and Rob Mann are sitting together talking. Um, like Rob Mann, I'm a big Mega Man fan, so we got that going on. Uh, real big fan of Mega Man. It's a shame that Mega Man's not getting the love he used to get, right? He used to just be all over the place. He's a great character. Um, I'm glad he's going to be in Smash Brothers. Uh, I think I'm going to get Smash the new Smash Brothers for him alone, just because of Mega Man. Uh, but I'm hoping for a really good game experience. But that's not what this is. This, that's not what this video is about. Uh, let's see. There's him. I was watching the Happy Video Game Nerd for a while, but it's not that I stopped wanting to watch him. But I don't know if he does any videos anymore. Maybe he does. I don't know. But I liked I liked his stuff for a while. Um, who else do I watch? Uh, I like watching GameSack. Those guys are they're pretty funny. Uh, kind of question some of the some of the things they they dislike or like. I just you know, here and there. But. Um, there's those guys, there's uh, Rich, of course, and then there's the Happy Console Gamer and the Happy Video Game Nerd. And of course, I do I do like James Rolfing, but I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly consider the angry video game nerd to be an actual YouTube personality. So much that his videos were first done elsewhere and then uploaded to YouTube later. They weren't specifically made for YouTube for the most part. I think he has done some specifically for YouTube, but I, I do like his stuff too. Uh, let's see, who else do I like? Uh, oh, there's one guy in particular that I just have the utmost respect for, and I just think he's awesome. And I'm gonna probably be kissing ass here a bit, but, but, but I don't want to hear anything about it. You know, I only kiss ass where ass kissing is due, and I think he deserves ass kissing. <laughs> I and, and and that's Alpha Omega Sin. The dude is. Him, I think him and Rich, they're the ones who made me go. I want to do this. I want to just get on a get on the camera and talk. Just yeah. I mean, the only reason I'm started do, started doing this, it, there's no reason in particular. I just I like to talk. <laughs> so here you go. I'm talking. Um. But no, I, I really liked his rants. He goes, they are rants. I mean, they're very informed. The dude is very intelligent. You can tell he's really intelligent. He, he's smart as F and F. Yeah, I can't curse like him. I want to curse like him, and I do it very random, rare, rarely. I just, in the back of my mind, my mom's standing there getting ready to slap me upside my head for cursing, so I just kind of avoid it. <laughs> if I can. Uh... Plus, I, I'm trying to keep my uh, channel a little more PG. I'm, I'm hoping some things might happen at some point down the line. You never know. 
And some companies are going to, if they see me, they're going to want to stay back if I'm cursing my head off. And there's just some things I'm hoping to happen. But I really do like his rants. I, I, he's probably the only, and I didn't even expect this from him. I did a video before, and I mentioned how uh, there, were, there were personalities on YouTube who were just, and I'm still not going to mention their names. The only reason I mentioned Rich was because I feel like he's an intelligent dude. He's not going to overreact to me making the comments I made. He might contact me and go, let's have a debate. Let's talk about it, which I would be willing to. But, but I mentioned the gamers that had a bunch of crap to say about Nintendo's showings, the three games that I mentioned. And um, I expected the same from Alpha Omega Sin. He surprised me. Like me, he's looking forward to Yoshi's Woolly World. He's looking forward to that. He's looking forward to that new Kirby game, which I think the claymation at that claymation thing they're doing looks really cool. I think that's I think that's awesome. Uh, I want to play that, and I want to play Toad's Treasure Tracker. A fun game is a fun game is a fun game. If they're fun, they're worth playing. But Alpha, he really surprised me because I figured when he'd go over, he would do just like these other personalities and just go. Don't care. I just, that's not a game I want to play. No. That's what I figured he'd do. He didn't do that. He did not do that at all. And it surprised the hell out of me. And he gained extra, extra respect for me for that. I think, I, I think I can actually look at him and say, yeah, that's a gamer. That dude's a gamer. But he's, he's very charismatic. He's... He's foul mouthed as can be. Uh, I envy him for being that foul mouthed. I would love to curse all the time like that, but I can't do it. Uh, you can tell he likes metal. Seems like he likes metal. Pretty sure he likes metal. I like metal too. A little more partic particular about metal, though. I mean, kind of picky. I haven't. There's not too much metal nowadays. I like that goes for any music nowadays. I'm just like, hmm. I don't know. Just. It I guess it just depends on the song that comes up. But you can tell that the dude is really intelligent. You can see it. Uh, and he's always he's always right on the money about stuff whenever he talks. Like I said, there's going to be ass kissing. I'm kissing ass, but he deserves it. I'm going to keep watching him. Every time he posts a rant, I'm going to watch. I might not necessarily comment. I mean, oftentimes there's nothing I can say new that no one else has you know, already said. Nine times out of ten. So no point in me commenting sometimes, but when I do, it's just, it's usually pretty positive. I just like what, like usually what he has to say. Uh, who else? Now, okay, there's one guy. He's not necessarily a video game type personality or anything like that, tech, technology personality per se, but I kind of identify with the dude being heavy set myself. Uh, and, and that's Boogie2988. Wait, is it 2988? Uh, Boogie2988. 29... You all know who I'm talking about. Uh, his character, Francis. I swear to God, Francis reminds me of me sometimes. Just that nerd rage. Ah! Just fucking flipping. Look, I curse. Just friggin' flipping out over over stuff that's, that's really... Maybe not that big a deal, but you know, I can't. I can't help but think Francis is his outlet. It's it's that inner nerd rage just got to come out, and he turns it into something really, really funny. And that's why I really like Boogie. Um, I tried talking to the dude on several occasions, but he never responds. I tried to just kind of be friends, but I guess he doesn't care to be friends with anybody online. I don't know. Uh, let's see, who else? Who else? Okay, here's another guy. He's not exactly a video game only kind of person, but he's probably the only the only personality on YouTube of color that I can stand to watch and not cringe. He doesn't come off like an idiot. He doesn't come off too macho. He doesn't come off like a jerk. Black nerd comedy. I love black nerd. The dude is awesome. Uh... There's something about that dude. He's, he makes me laugh. And uh, another guy who's just really intelligent. I think that's my thing. I like to watch somebody who makes sense. Who I can agree with for the most part. Uh, a lot of YouTube personalities, though, it's true. I just kind of watch them and go, 
I don't agree with that. They sure as hell don't agree with that. Not agreeing with that. No, not agreeing with that. But it's just like with Rich, it's, it's few and far between. Very, 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 very few and far between. I do envy Black Nerd. He gets to do things. He went to uh, he went to E3. Oh, doggone it! Lucky so and so. God, I envy the I envy these guys. I really do. Uh, I'm thinking about doing another video later. I like doing voices. Might be a little embarrassed doing the voices, but I like doing the voices. So I might try and just do a quick video that's just me going on with voices and stuff. I'm a just I like doing the voices. I don't know why, but. Uh, I can make my family laugh a lot. A lot of them think I should be doing stand-up. I don't know. I'm holding back right now. I would love to just go nuts. I really would, but it's just... There's already plenty of guys who go real nuts. And I just... I don't think there's any point in me going real nuts. I don't know. But I, I do want to do some voices. I'm going to do another video. But those are the guys... But going back to what I was talking about, those are the guys that I really... I, I look up to. Rich, most especially, the dude, you just, you, he gets a lot of shit. Oop, cursed again. He gets a lot of crap. And it's usually, though, it's idiots. And, and, and I understand what he's going through when he sits there and he's like, he can't win for losing. Because it's like, if he, if, he, if he says something good about one company, then you have Sony and Mike. If, if he says something good about Nintendo, he has Sony and Microsoft fanboys calling him a Nintendo fanboy. If he says something bad about Nintendo, or you know, it's just he can't win for losing. He'll 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 if he says something bad about Microsoft, then all of a sudden he's either a Sony or a micro or a, a, a Nintendo fanboy. If he says something good about Sony, then he's either a Microsoft or a Nintendo fanboy. I think he's pretty unbiased like me. He just likes to game. He just likes to play video games. And so, but, I just, I can't figure out people's logic on the internet, but there's a lot of nutcases on the internet. I think that's where they, they come here. Maybe it's just this thing where they come here to the internet and they think, anonymity, awesome, I can just be a total douche. The anonymity just makes it perfect to be a, be a total douche and get away with it. Because I know in real life, if I acted like that towards somebody, I'd get my ass kicked. So, I do it here. Like it's an outlet or something, I guess. I don't know. I pity those kinds of people. For the most part, I block them, ignore them, mute them. But there's a lot of them, aren't there? But he, but Rich does. He gets this crap all the time, and I'm pretty sure he's not the only one that gets it. I think Alpha Omega Sin gets these idiots, too. You can't win for losing for people. It's as if they never heard of somebody being unbiased. It's like, they, you, but you you can't say anything good. It's like me. I've said some things about Nintendo that were good. I, I'm, I'm glad Iwata got reelected. I know people are going, why? He has made so many horrible mistakes. He's done so many stupid things. He needs fired so bad. And I'm like, no. The Nintendo, Nintendo's not doing that bad. They have plenty of money in the bank. Okay, they're not as bad as Sega was back in the day. The one we have to worry about, you should be worried about, is is Kaz Harai. You should be worrying about the president of Sony. Sony is still bleeding money, even though they he recently reorganized his his, his PC sector and whatnot. He reorganized those sec sectors and so forth. Something he should have done a long time ago. And he just he just now recently, not long ago, did it. And they're still bleeding money. Granted, the PS4 is a success, but they need to get the software on there. Indie games alone is not enough. I mean, it's something, but... Yeah. But those are the ones you should be worried about. But, but go, it, it, going back to what I'm saying, y'all, you all gotta stop. Stop being trolls. Stop being fanboys. All you do is sh you show your true IQ. You show really what kind of a person you are. You show clearly that you're not worth a spit in the bucket when you start acting like complete and total douches. No civility. No common sense. Just bleh, 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 bleh. just stop. All right, going on 15 minutes. Didn't mean to have it go that long. I wanted to make a short video. This wasn't short at all.
My last one was short. This one was long. A little after 15 minutes now. All right, everybody take care. I don't know if there's anybody watching. Maybe eventually somebody will watch. I think I had one person watch. Yeah, one person. They commented it was my last video of Buddy Water, and they completely disagreed with me. Let me let me let me say a little more about that whole situation with Iwata. Yeah, he's made some pretty crappy. He messed up a lot, sure. But his his rating's still pretty high, and they like what he's doing now. They can see that he's turning things around a bit. It's just one of those things. Sometimes you you get into this situation where it's just like eh, things are just just not working out. But I can say if he continues on the path of just doing all the wrong things, if he keeps doing the wrong things, sure, he needs to be sent packing. If it just continues and it just looks like he's not learning anything, sending sending packing. Otherwise, redemption. He needs a chance to redeem himself. Is his his honor? He's 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 a pretty smart guy. I just feel like. He's soft. He's a little soft, I feel like. That's not good. The guy, the one who, before him, the president before him, he was, he seemed like a tough-as-nails kind of guy. And I can't help but feel like the advertising reflected that when you had the slogans he had back then. But I don't know. This, is, this video started off about my favorite personalities and went into that. But yeah. Almost 17 minutes. Good God. Okay. Everybody, whoever's watching, whatever, have a good one.